Hello and welcome to I Am Jerichaholic series of Fight to the Death. Today we're going to be looking at Agent 47 from the Hitman series against John Marsden from the Red Dead series. We're going to be looking at their strengths, their weaknesses, their strategies, their mentalities and anything else that may apply. So, why wait? Let's get straight on with the facts. Agent 47 is aged 50 as he was born in 1964. He is 6 foot 2 and is a master of disguise and stealth. He is a clone made by investors who use their own DNA. His main weapons are AMT hardballers, aka his silver baller pistols, which can be silenced and or dual wielded. His other main weapon is his fiber wire, which he can use to silently choke his opponent, either unconscious or dead. He has increased strength, speed, stamina and intelligence well over the human normal abilities due to DNA from the top five criminals in the world mixed with a 47th chromosome. These are not superhuman though, but these are the maximum potential that a human can have. He's proficient using various weapons including rifles, sidearms, military weapons, knives and garrots to name a few. He is very skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat and which allows him to take on several enemies at once efficiently. He can pilot most vehicles including boats, planes, helicopters and many more. He is impervious to fear and this is also part of his personality of being somewhat emotionless and free from remorse. His instinct abilities allow him to see and sense his surroundings and anticipate movements. He's also been noted as having distinguished marksmanship and he can also make homemade slingshots if needed. He has an ability called point shooting which allows a more accurate attack using firearms allowing multiple precise shots within very short periods of time from each other. John Marsden, the anti-hero of the West. He was born in 1873 and originally died in 1911, aged 37. His height is 5 foot 10 and he joined a gang after leaving an orphanage at age 17 and was homeschooled by the leader of the gang, Vanderlind. He was forced to work for the Bureau of Investigation after his crimes were found out. He has a Robin Hood style morality where he steals from the rich and gives to the poor. He has survived a bullet to the ribs before, but he's later killed after a firing squad take him down outside a barn after he allows his family to escape. But he still takes some of the firing squad with him. Even as a zombie in the Undead Nightmare expansion, he is still able to use weapons efficiently and still has his soul. He's incredibly emotional and has very strong convictions and very strong beliefs in morality. Due to some in-game lore, it is suggested that he is blind in his left eye. He is extremely proficient in using firearms of the time, especially pistols. He is also a skilled survivalist, knowing how to hunt, track and gather. He has a similar point shooting ability to Agent 47, again allowing him increased accuracy and multiple damaging shots. Zombie Marston has more durability to blunt objects, but he has less durability towards explosives. His main weapon is the Colt 45 pistol, but he can use many different firearms, throwable weapons, and hunting weapons including lassoes and knives. So now you know all you need to know about John Marston and Agent 47, let's see who would win in a fight. 3, 2, 1, GO! Well, both men would start by drawing their pistols, aiming tightly on each other's body and blowing each other away with point shooting precision. 
Marston's accuracy being less precise due to a lack of depth perception due to his not working left eye, but Agent 47's shooting is slightly slower than Marston's, as seen from gameplay. Marston's less accurate but faster shot would probably spiral through Agent 47's chest, and Agent 47's reaction to the shot would knock his aim off course, also shooting Marston through the shoulder slash chest area. Both men have been known to survive such attacks, so the fight would go on. Agent 47's enhanced speed would allow him to find cover faster than Marsden. As Marsden is very aware of his surroundings, this allows him to find Agent 47 easily. But using his instinct abilities, Agent 47 is always one step ahead, anticipating Marsden's movements. This allows Agent 47's stealth abilities to come into play. As Marsden is visually impaired, it leaves a huge opening in his defense, allowing Agent 47 to get behind him, garroting Marsden slowly, silently, and effectively for the kill. But that is not where our story ends. Marston has been infected with the zombie virus from Undead Nightmare. Zombie Marston would reanimate, allowing him extra melee defense. He would pick up and throw any objects around him at Agent 47, giving him quite a lot of damage. But Agent 47 is not afraid of anything, not even the undead. Agent 47 takes aim one more time with its silver ballers, piercing Zombie Marston right through his remaining right eye and the space where Zombie Marston's left eye should be, shutting down the anti-hero of the West once and for all. So there you have it guys, our winner is the Hitman, Agent 47. Next time on Fight to the Death, we're going to be putting Grayson Hunt from Bulletstorm against Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War in the final episode of this series. So we hope you'll see it then. Take care guys, enjoy yourselves, bye!